heroes, myths, legends. Myths, legends. Christopher Scott Kyle fits in all three of those categories. Chris was born on April 8, 1974. He was born in Odessa, Texas. He grew up in Odessa, Texas. He had a brother named Jeff. He learned to use shotguns and rifles when he was learning to read and write. He was eight years old when he got his first shotgun. He was a natural hunter like his father. He had BB gun wars with his friends at a young age. He went to high school at Middalethia, Texas. In high school, he played football and baseball. He went to Tardlin State University. He went to college for fights and fun. He loved to rodeo and ride horses. He got seriously injured during a bull ride. He joined the SEALs when he was at the mall talking to the recruiter there. He met Taylor Kyle, his future wife, in a bar in San Diego, California. They had a little argument during their first encounter that made them more interested in each other. He went through basic training easily and then he had to go through a difficult training called BUDS. He had to do many different trainings such as carry logs, swim miles and run miles, and lie in freezing cold water. After BUDS, he went into the SEAL training. He was assigned to SEAL Team 3 Sniper Element Charlie Platoon within the Naval Special Warfare Command. He was sent early to assist Marines clearing insurgents in Fallujah. One fight, he ran through many bullets to save a wounded soldier. He earned two silver stars, five bronze stars with Valor, two Navy and Marine Corps medals. Kyle said the combat was the worst on his last deployment to Seder City in 2008. The enemy was better armed than before. Chris said, now it seems like every time there was an attack, there were rocket-propelled grenades and fights that lasted for days. This was also the deployment that produced Kyle's longest confirmed kill. He holds the American record with 160 confirmed kills at the end of his career. Kyle was known for helping anyone, police officers, civilians, and especially military veterans that were having trouble adjusting to their life after combat. It was this notoriety that led Jody Leith, a teacher's aide at an elementary school close to Kyle's home, to contact Chris about her son who was a former Marine. He was now an unemployed former Marine who reported served in Iraq and Afghanistan and was suffering from PTSD. He needed Kyle's help. Chris and a friend, Chad Littlefield, decided to take her son, Eddie Ray Ruth, to Rough Creek Shooting Range where they would do some shooting to see if it would help the veteran. Eddie Ray Ruth went to the range with Kyle in his black truck. When they were at the shooting range, shortly after they arrived, Eddie Ray Ruth killed Chad Littlefield and Chris Kyle. Kyle was shot in the back four times and once in the face. Chad Littlefield was shot five times in the back. Kyle's funeral ceremony was at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium and Taya Kyle gave a eulogy. It's Chris Kyle Day in Texas and he will never be forgotten.